What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply complex numbers or imaginary numbers, right? So let's start with this one right here. So we have three i times in parentheses, negative five plus i, all right? So the first thing we wanna do here is just distribute this three i into these uh, set of parentheses, all right? So three i times negative five is equal to negative 15 i, right? And then three i times positive i is equal to positive three i squared. Okay, now one thing we can do here is actually simplify this i squared. Why can we simplify i squared? Well, remember the definition of i is that it's equal to the square root of negative one. Okay, so if you square i, we're squaring this whole thing, right? The square root of negative one. What's that equal to? Well, that's just equal to negative one, right? So i squared is equal to simply negative one, all right? And if that doesn't make sense, let's just use a normal number, all right? So let's say, uh, what is the square root of nine? Okay, so if we squared this, this would just be equal to nine, right? Because the square root of nine is equal to three. So really we're just, we have three right there and we're squaring it. What's three squared equal to? Well, that's just equal to nine, right? So when you square a square root, they basically cancel each other out and then you're just left with the number that's right in here. Okay, so same thing up here. That's why this squared exponent and the square root just cancel each other out and we're just left with the number that's in here, which is a negative one. Okay, so since we know that i squared is equal to negative one, then we can rewrite this one more time as negative 15 i plus three times negative one. Okay, so then here we really have negative 15 i minus three. All right, and then the last thing you wanna remember is just you always want your answers in standard form. So that just means you want the real number first and then the imaginary number second. So here we're gonna write our answer as negative three minus 15 i. All right, so there'd be your answer right there. All right, two more. So this one is uh, in parentheses nine minus two i times in parentheses negative four plus seven i, right? So what we have to do here is FOIL, right? We have a binomial times a binomial, so we have to FOIL. So the first terms we have are nine times negative four, that's negative 36. And then nine times seven i is positive 63 i. And then here we have negative two i minus four, or times negative four, so that's positive eight i and then negative 2i times positive 7i is negative 14i squared. Okay, so the first thing we can do here is combine like terms. So here we have a 63i and 8i, so that's equal to 71i, right? So we're gonna have negative 36 plus 71i, and then here uh, we have minus 14, and then remember, i squared is equal to negative one, right? So we could just say that this is the same thing as negative 14 times negative one, like that. All right, so then here we have negative 36 uh, plus 71i uh, plus 14, right? So this turns into plus 14, all right? So then combining like terms one more time, negative 36 and positive 14 is equal to negative 22, all right? So negative 22. And remember, we wanna write our real number first, so we'll write that one first and then our imaginary number second, so 71i right there, all right? So negative 22 plus 71i is our answer. All right, last one. So here we have three minus six i in parentheses squared, right? So let's actually square this, let's multiply it out. So we're going to have three minus six i times three minus six i like that, all right? And then again, we just have to FOIL, right? So first we're gonna do three times three, which is equal to nine, and then three times negative six i is negative 18 i, and then negative six i times three is also negative 18 i, and negative six i times negative six i is positive 36 i squared, right? So then again, we can combine like terms right here, right? So negative 18 i minus 18 i is equal to negative 36 i. So we're gonna have nine minus 36 i plus 36 i squared. And remember that i squared is equal to negative one. Okay, so then we get nine minus 36 i minus 36, all right? So then nine minus 36 is equal to negative 27. Okay, so then our answer is going to be negative 27 
minus 36i. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.